come in close here. You can see it's got a pedostatic tube on the front for speed and airspeed indicators. So walking through, uh, they seem to be fine with taking photos and everything. So this is a first time run. We get the driver's compartment, looks fairly complex. We're not gonna get too close because we don't want to piss anyone off. But it looks like we got a circuit breaker, some kind of electronic system. Ooh, and here's all the gut, so I'm gonna try and hold this. Uh, not quite sure what any of that is, but we're just checking it out for the first time. I see some sort of air filter in there and a fire extinguisher. Right here on the side, this is the Eagle. I'll try and pan back so you can actually see something. There's the intake for the engines. They got everything blocked off because all the dust. But uh, as you see, I'm going to get in close here and check out. We have the tags from the F-104. Some from Canada and American patches. Continue down the side. Take a look at all these sponsors and things. Uh, one thing they were talking about is uh, it's very, very windy out here, and they were worried about the conditions of the the flat, the actual powderness and the flatness of the, the the top of the Black Rock Desert. So they're concerned with the runs that they're going to do this afternoon. Um, but they told us because of sponsors, they really have to have some sort of product. So they're probably going to do a couple more tests for us. Right here, you can see this starts the suspension. It's really just a giant torsion bar with a solid axle. And uh, back there is the most impressive thing. We'll get to it in just a moment. But here is uh, what you see, just some speed brakes. And uh, yesterday they said they did a run which achieved 175 miles an hour with these speed brakes open the whole time. I'm not sure why they did that, but that's what happened. Over here, like I said, the most impressive part, we were talking to some gentlemen and these wheels were $25,000 each, um, each turned, especially for the project, and turned uh, somewhere in a machine shop. Uh, not quite sure what makes them so special, but um, one of the really interesting things about this whole project, which we were checking out online, is these brakes right here. And they look kind of strange if you know anything about brakes, but they're actually magnetic brakes. Uh, there's no contact to the rotors or the pads. I don't know if you can see the spacing in there between the silver and the black disc. But that is the interface where the magnetic forces are felt. Right here we got a parachute can is what it looks like. And they've taken off the cover for the rear afterburner section. It's the first time we'll be able to really look down and check it out. I don't know if this is savvy, but we're going to do it. So... What does it feel like to be behind an afterburner section? It's a little nerve wracking. This car goes, uh, today they're shooting for 400 miles an hour, they said. So, again, we're just going to kind of get low. Check out. Here's these parachute cans. You can see the rear axle. It's all just beefy as hell. And uh, as you can imagine, this thing weighs a whole crap load, I'm sure. Over here, they just got some miscellaneous electronics and, uh, uh, looks like hydraulics, lights, flashy, um, flashlight batteries, electric cords. They got grinding discs, sanding discs, all sorts of stuff that they can use just in case. Uh, I'm going to walk up the other side here. Check out the tail. North American Eagle Land Speed. Uh, again, just some more sponsors and things. Checking out the side. We're going to do a quicker walk up this time. Here's a real close look at these brakes and what's going on. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool. They got stuff written everywhere. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. And ask questions, blah, blah, blah. And uh, really, the conception of the people out here is uh, one guy, to quote him, to put it best, he said, we're, we're the friendly Jet Dragster team. But mostly, they're just really good guys. We got here and tried to set up a tent that was not working so they as I said before just let us sleep in their basically in their shop so they're really nice guys and right here owner and driver Ed Shadle we had a chance to meet him last night down at the only restaurant in town called Bruno's and uh, he's a really nice guy he's cool we had a chance to exchange 
our little portfolio but anyway a nice little shot out the nose here seeing where it's going and uh, I think we're gonna shut her down for today we just saw a flare and we just saw a whole shitload of smoke I think we're game on here we're getting ready we see a red thing firing through the distance watch out Nick here it comes it's gonna go hauling by and I'm gonna shut up here so we can hear it And engines out. Just finished. Oh, what was that? Something's gone wrong. We killed the engines. Dude, that thing is hauling. Oh. He had to kill the engines then. What for? There's only like. Are they only doing a three mile run? Yeah, yeah, I did. Parachute. That was sick when the when the car was going. Yeah. Sweet. So that was uh, the first run we saw, and uh, what it looked like happened is. Um, Right here in front of us, we saw the engines kill, and then about 100 to 200 feet later, we saw a big uh, cloud dust, or it looked like a change, and we think that was a parachute firing. Uh, as you can see, everybody's kind of packing up. That's pretty much all we need to do. But I'm gonna zoom in here, try and catch, uh, this is where they're all standing. Out there, they got uh, two trucks, two fire trucks with extinguishers, and uh, the Cessna's flying around, of course, checking things out. But uh, that looks like a pretty successful sh uh, little low speed run. Uh, I think we're going to shut her down and see if we can do another run or whatever's going to happen today. Nick, what do you think about that? It looked fucking badass, man. It was man. pretty sweet. What, what? Okay. What? Yeah, dude. All right, we're going to get a ride with these gents. What do you think, Bryce? It was pretty sweet. I hope it goes faster soon. Yep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the flare has been shot. As you can see all the way down there, we got a large dust cloud headed towards us. It's probably a very fast edge shadle. He's cooking. It looks like he's about to pass. Did he go off track? There go the engines. His engines just stopped. You can't see much anymore. It's just a bunch of dust. There goes uh, the fire truck to go catch him. And we're about to jump back in the RV to go see what's up. Folks, this time we're going to stand at the starting line. Hopefully you can hear me. We have the start cart going. They're getting the turbines spooled up. They're going to start the engine here in just a moment. 
Uh, it's going to get really loud, so we'll just let you observe.